I'm sure you guys all recognize this familiar building. It is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's not many Leaning Towers, and uh, this is really the only one I know of that's still standing. Yeah, we there's a there's a wine bottle bet going on. So whoever can think of the craziest photo to do, because you see how everyone's like holding their hands up and stuff. That's the thing to do here. It's to do the the weird holding up of the building photos. We're gonna go try to do some of our own. <laughs> so you guys got some crazy ideas? I don't. Let's go spy on some and then we'll, we'll think of something. I got fast camera shutter. I think we can do something with that. This is actually ridiculous. The amount of people <laughs> holding their hands up in front of this tower. I try going like this. You wanna squish it? Squish it. Squish it? Squish it! Oh. <laughs> Buongiorno and welcome to Florence, Italy! Um, what Florence is famous for is this was the birth of the Renaissance. The Renaissance, if you don't, in case you don't know, it was a movement or a period of time in which was a rebirth of art and culture and sculpture and all this other craziness. Unfortunately, some of the museums that are here in Florence <laughs> that have all these amazing art galleries and paintings and sculptures are actually one, they won't let me film uh, and two, there's really long lineups for them because we didn't know this but like Tuesday is a really really busy day to go visit museums so unfortunately we're not going to be able to see any of the paintings and sculptures The meeting David had was supposed to happen at the very beginning when the mayor sort of figure huh, of the newly born Republic of Florence asked Michelangelo who was in 
I got stracciatella. Strat 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 is that what it's called? Is it stracciatella or strat? Uh, I, I think it was said stracciatella, but I think it's stracciatella. Like, strat 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 yeah. Then I got like a chocolate hazelnut, and then I got almond. I took my dairy pills. So don't worry, I'm good to go. Good to go. If you look at that top ring, you can actually see that the, the images look like they're 3D, like they actually look like it's like they're statues and they're coming up to you, but really they're just paintings as well. I don't know if you can see that. This is amazing! This is totally worth hiking all the way up those stairs. In 40 degree heat. Wow. This is check out Florence. Standing on top of history, people. Standing on top of history. I'm here to explain a few things about leather. Probably don't take too long. The only way to see the leather is 100% genuine leather. We always need to look at the back of the leather. When it's genuine, you always want to have this weight like this one here, which is really hard and expensive to reproduce. And the fade looks like this one here. It's like a velvet. It's very soft, very easy to slide if you try to slide like this. The chain in leather, if you try to slide, you have to sway inside, so you cannot slide. It's really, really hard. Okay? So tonight we are in for a very special, delicious treat. We are here in a Tuscan villa in the Italian countryside for a feast of not one, not two, not three, four, or five, but six courses. <laughs> I don't even know what six courses are. I don't even know what you do eat for six courses. But we're gonna have some very delicious Italian food. And I'm excited for it! Oh my gosh, I feel like all I've done today is eat though, which I am completely okay with. <laughs> I have four forks and my table right now. What is this? And two knives, but no spoons. Four or five, yeah. <laughs> 